troubleshooting applies to all DK series models and A, S, and H security levels. Lock indicators to help. If while trying to operate the DigiLock with either a code or key, and the lock emits one beep and one flash of the LED light, this is an invalid code or key indicator, meaning either an invalid code or an unregistered key was used to operate the lock. To correct, enter either a valid user code or insert a registered key to the key slot on the front of the DigiLock. If the lock operates with any code, or operates with the C button followed by the key symbol button. This is an indicator that the lock is not initialized. Follow the DK series initialization guide for instructions on initializing the DigiLock. If while trying to operate, the lock emits two sets of three beeps, this is a low battery indicator and signifies that the batteries require replacement immediately. For optimal performance, DigiLock requires premium alkaline batteries. Please note, if the low battery indicator is heard while trying to access the locker with a user code or ADA user key and the lock does not open, both the manager bypass key and programming key will supply bypass power to the lock unit. If while trying to operate, the lock emits 10 rapid beeps, this is a binding indicator. To relieve binding, Press firmly against the locker door while using a valid code or registered manager bypass key for locker access. If binding continues, the locker door may be misaligned with the strike plate. Adjust the strike plate and or door hinges to alleviate the binding. Problems and Solutions If there is no audible feedback heard when pressing the C button, there are four reasons why this may happen. The lock is in sleep state, has a poor pin connection, is over-tightened, or has dead batteries. Let's start with sleep state. If the wrong code was entered three times in a row, then the tamper guard may be activated, and the lock is in a sleep state. Wait three minutes and try again, or use a registered manager bypass key for lock access. Poor pin connection. The lock may be experiencing a poor pin connection causing power loss. Try removing the lock from the door and reinstalling it. Over tightened. To determine if the lock is over tightened on the door, try loosening either the mounting screws or locking nuts. Afterwards, press the C button. If there is audible feedback, this is an indicator that either the mounting screws or locking nuts were too tight. Refer to the installation manual for proper lock installation instructions. Dead batteries. To determine if the batteries are expired, you must use the manager bypass key that has an external power source to power the lock. Simply insert a registered manager bypass key to the key slot for 30 seconds. Remove and immediately reinsert the same key to unlock the lock. Note that the programming key will also supply bypass power to the lock in case of battery failure.